Hello perfect beauty, so today I'm going to be doing the ride or die tag started by Jaclyn Hill. I haven't done a video where I just like talk to you guys about my favorite makeup products in a really long time and I've definitely purchased a lot of stuff in the past like six months so I want to share that with you guys. Okay, so the first, um, this is basically like my travel makeup bag. I basically put all of my holy grails in this clear container and this is how I travel in. So we'll just go through this. So right now, for now, my ride or die foundation is the Giorgio Armani um, Lasting Silk UV Foundation. Now, I chose the one with SPF. I do have the one without SPF. However, it doesn't really match my skin tone. Um, the reason why I love this foundation is it kind of builds itself up really, really well and it gives a smooth finish. It doesn't go on cakey or powdery. And then for concealer, I have found that matte concealers are the best. Um, they're really, really pigmented. Anything by MAC is like probably one of my favorites. And um, a lot of these products in this tag is gonna be like MAC products, um, simply because they're just really good makeup products. They just do the job and that's it. There's nothing else to it. Um, but this is a concealer palette that I purchased a few years ago and it melted in my car, which you can see why it looks so crazy. But this is a really good concealer palette because it has six different colors. And usually what I'll do is I will just take, um, you know, some of it and mix it together and wear it almost as like a moisturizer or like a tinted moisturizer or foundation, um, just the long parts where I have some spots. The next thing on this tag is, oh, primer. So primer, I use the um, this one because it's in my travel bag. Um, it's like super dirty, but I use the Benefit Professional and I actually don't use primer all over my face. Um, I have found that primers, I feel like it gives me this oily cast on my face, whereas if I just put foundation on straight to my face, it actually sinks into my face really well. But I use the Pore Professional over my foundation to um, fill in any gaps in my pores. So I put um, the Professional in the holes of my nose and then I um, use a powder and set it in. So I have found I like this because it's skin colored, so it, it's not like a huge cast. And I go through tubes and tubes and tubes of these and I always buy the miniature size because I travel a ton. And what I do with my makeup, you guys don't know, is I have four different sets of makeup. So one in my filming room, one where I live, one in my car, and one in my suitcase. So um, I always bring one of these sets of makeup on the go so I have like multiples everywhere. Just because I don't want to have to think about, um, you know, like getting all my makeup together every time I travel. Okay. The next thing is um, favorite face powder. So my favorite face powder is the, um, again, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This one is a medium plus, and this is in the old packaging. Um, it comes out in the packaging like a compact. These are just really nice face powders. I don't know, they kind of smooth everything out. They set really well on my skin. Um, I haven't really maybe tried too many different ones, but I've literally gone through like, Seven. Okay, the next category is under eye powder and I chose the Laura Mercier loose setting powder and to be completely honest guys, I've only used this like once or twice. Um, I've just heard about this and seen this everywhere from people um, and I don't set my under eyes because I feel like I feel like um, I, it emphasizes the wrinkles under my eyes if I wear concealer under them. And maybe I'm not doing it right, but I also think in my face, I have a very wide like cheek area. So I don't really want to emphasize that either. So I don't think it's super flattering like for me to do the whole like bake under my eyes. But because I wanted to bake, I just bought a huge can of this and I haven't been able to use it yet. Okay, my favorite blush or sorry, my favorite bronzer has to be the NARS Laguna bronzer, and this one is in one of these sets. This is um, Angelica Blush, which I only, I've only worn a couple times, but then I always use this bronzer. And this is just like a very, very good, like basic bronzer. You can't really go wrong with um, NARS Laguna. It's just, it's just like a staple in your collection, and if you just wanna find a bronzer and not have to deal with a lot of like fuss, then I definitely suggest the, um, the Gouda bronzer. For mascara, I would say one of my favorite mascaras that I've purchased several times is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. So this one is 
um, really good because it's super, super black and it has like this kind of comb tip applicator. I'm sure you guys have seen this before, but it goes through every one of your lashes and especially when you have something like eyelash extensions, you don't wanna put on like too much mascara, so I'll just put it on the tips of the lashes. And also I use it on my bottom lashes and it helps kind of separate and lengthen them. This has always been one of my favorites. I have other favorites, but this is something that I just keep repurchasing time after time after time. Okay, next is favorite eyeshadow palette. And I actually got this eyeshadow palette at Nordstrom Rack. This is the, uh, the NARS Ye Irresistible Eyeshadow Palette. And I love this eyeshadow palette because there's, um, there's, I love this orange color in the middle. It's like my favorite color. And then I love the brown. So I usually wear those, like the orange and, my, and the uh, orange like outside of the lid and then the brown in the crease. Really like it. The, the shadows are super pigmented and I love the packaging of them because there's a mirror which you guys can see yourself. Okay, favorite eyebrow pod, product, hands down. This is my absolute favorite eyebrow um, thing. I've tried so many different ones. And I always go back to this one by MAC. This one is in Lingering. And I just love, love, love the formulation and the tip. I love how it's a pretty fine tip. So it's a pretty fine tip. Um, and it has this like almost waxy formulation, but it goes on smooth and creamy. So you can kind of like build the hairs and kind of like um, brush the hairs along while you, you fill in the brows. They stay on like all day. Um, there's no like, like I feel like some eyebrow pencils, it gets kind of like chalky or it doesn't get consistent or like, you know, gets kind of oily because I have really oily skin. Um, favorite eyeliner, I've been using the Revlon Color Stay Skinny Liner and it's actually pretty good. It's in blackout. I haven't found any problems with it. Um, I actually really, really like like it. I've, I used to have problems with like, um, with with liquid liners when I was younger, but this I have found works actually pretty well. There's nothing too great about it, but nothing too terrible about it. I find that it lasts all day. So for um, lashes, my favorite are the Ardell Double Up lashes. You guys probably know I like wearing these on a lot of my videos and in a lot of the like made up pictures I have. Um, I've been wearing this. And then um, another really, really great liner is Maybelline Hyper Sharp Liner. And this is like the thinnest, thinnest um, line you can ever get. It's super, super thin, like that. And then my favorite perfume right now is, okay, I'm wearing this perfume and I don't wanna tell you guys what it is yet because I feel like everyone is gonna start getting it. <laughs> I'm like kind of secretive about this perfume I've been wearing, but it is this perfume that I've been wearing and every time I get in the Uber, like every Uber driver comments on it, like every single time. So I don't know. And usually the Uber drivers are guys, so they really like it. So maybe I'll tell you one day, but it's just, it's my favorite scent so far. Um, and a lot of people don't really know about it just yet, so I kind of like want to wait to like let you guys know. But one of my other favorite scents right now has been Versace Bright Crystal. Always like a favorite scent of mine. Love it. it. Smells so feminine and fresh and like water lilies and it's beautiful. So yeah, those are like my ride or die products. Um, I'm actually pretty consistent once I like a product, I kind of stick with it. Um, so those are the ones I like. So let me know in the comments below what your ride or die products are and also let me know what you want me to do for more videos. Um, I think I might just upload once a week now instead of twice a week. Um, I'm just, I'm getting just like so much more busy with, with Banish. Like it's just, it's grown a lot and um, operationally speaking, like there's just a lot of like logistical things to take care of because we always want to give you like fresh ingredients and fresh products and ship every day and have really good customer service. And you guys know like I'm, I've always been an overachiever and I always want to make things better. And so that's just really been consuming my time. So it's really hard sometimes for me to just find some time to sit down and do a YouTube video and you know, I shouldn't be so hard on myself. Like today, like I actually got my hair done at um, Dry Bar. Like I got it blown out and I wanted to look good for you guys. You know, I like wanted to have my hair look nice, 
But then I was like, Daisy, you don't need to like go overboard and wear so much makeup in every single video um, because that takes a lot of time and it's kind of stressful making sure your makeup looks really great on camera. So I was just like, okay, you know what? Just like do your makeup as you look, very minimal makeup and do the video, okay? So thank you all so much for watching and I want to know your rides or dies and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tell me what other videos you want me to do. I can definitely do more heart to heart personal video topics and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.